All right, ladies and gentlemen. So since last we met, we have now entered a new world. A brave new world. A new world that's almost entirely different to the old one. Where once we had idols and sacred figures whom could not be touched by our mortal hands. We're now in a world where those idols are dust. Where those statues that we chiseled in veneration of our heroes are just dust, right? Dust on the ground. But you know the one similarity, the one similarity between this brave new world and the old disgusting world of antiquity that we were in mere hours ago? You know the one difference? The one single difference? It's that they're all, all of them, are still playing cover-up. The cover-up continues, ladies and gentlemen. And it continues almost in the most reprehensible, shameless, greasy, slimy, underhand way possible. All of them, every single one of them, are cleaning it up now. All of them sweeping away, tuck it under the rug. Clean up your lord and master's filth and spillage now. This is Shannon's mop, by the way. Shannon Gaines's authentic mop. And you know what? This is a mop now that serves two masters. Not just a, a, a grizzled, gunted, redneck alcoholic who can barely stay awake. Now it serves a half Mexican, half Jewish, um, a hoarder of doxes, confidence trickster, uh, leverage merchant, someone who is just very greasy, just in general. Now Shannon's mop has to serve two masters. He has to play clean up for two masters. And one master, the previous master he had, Ethan Ralph, was pretty hard work to begin with. So how do you think Shannon's coping? during all of this. Press one if you think Shannon's doing a great job cleaning all of this up. Press two if you think Shannon's overstretched here. You think that Shannon's not quite dealing with the workload as well as she should be. You think that maybe Shannon either needs a pay rise or to be paid at all. Or you think that Shannon needs to get some dignity. Get an ounce of his humanity back. But they're all still cleaning it up. And we're going to go into why they're cleaning it up. We're going to go into the brave new world we're in now. And let's just begin. So I opened the X-File, right? Last video, Godwinson opens the X-File. And Godwinson uncovers, you know, the aliens are real. There's real bounty hunters, you know, with, with, with sort of probing vents at the back of their necks, you know? There's bumblebees that carry around the black oil virus, you know? Um, uh, there's aliens that have touched down in Roswell. We, 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 we put it all together. We found out who the super soldiers were. We went through the whole 11 season mythology of the X-Files. And we came to one conclusion and one conclusion only. And that was that Dick Masterson is a pretty shady motherfucker. We came to the conclusion that New Project 2, Dick Masterson's brainchild, is essentially what I'd call a scam. In no uncertain terms, just an out and out scam, a complete scam, a total scam, but a successful scam, a scam that's managed to, what, soccer in some of the biggest names who've for so long professed the beauties, the virtues, the benefits of being anonymous on the internet and keeping your identity secret. Well, it turns out that these people have given Dick Masterson their social security number. Now they're fucking at, you know, at a moment's call. Dick Masterson has a bit of heat on himself. And then he starts calling in favors. Now, this was a great deal, I suppose, when no one knew about it. When Dick Masterson was like the coolest guy on the internet still. When these DMs about Dick Masterson being a, uh, a simp, you know, uh, his eyes hurt, he wants to feel the 35-year-old married woman in an atavistic way. You know, he wants to hold this woman. Uh, he, he wants to just spend vast sums of money flying this woman out. 
you know? It, it, Dick Matheson's so much of a chad, right? He can't get any woman within his own immediate area. He has to fly one out hundreds and hundreds of miles away. But that's by in the by, right? That's by in the by. Because what that's done is uncover the grand cover-up. Because the DM started to finally see a bit of heat being put on Dick Masterson. And the day came, that day which might never come. But one day, Dick Masterson might call on you for a favour. That day may never come, but when it does come, you've got to obey or you will not get your $26 from New Project 2. If you don't play ball, Dick Masterson's going to pass on your docks to Ethan Ralph. Or sock pocket it and put it out on Kiwi Farms or 9chan or 8chan or 4chan. Either way, you'd public your private data is pretty much public property the moment Dick Masterson gets hold of it. The moment you put your private data, your payment details, through this new project site, you're a fool for a start, and you might as well say goodbye to your anonymity. You might as well say goodbye to having an opinion that's not going to be compromised by, you know, Ethan Ralph. <laughs> what can we say? Anyway, that happened. The X-File was opened. We uncovered this grand conspiracy. And it turned out that it was all true! It was all real, ladies and gentlemen. Even the wildest speculations turned out to be 100% truth. Truth, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a big scam, and they're all colluding to try and keep it silent, try and cover it up, to try and clean it up now. All of them, every single one of them, Cleaning it up, pretending it's a nothing burger, nothing to see here, folks. Just nothing to see here. There's absolutely nothing to see, ladies and gentlemen. Except there is. There is. So what happens? We put out a video, right? We put out a video. We've got one of the lead acute. Ac uh, we've got the, one of the lead suspects, right? We've got one of our chief suspects in that chat of that video. Joshua from Kiwi Farms, and he's he's cleaning it up. He's he's running cover up, and people are going, "This is pretty shady. This is pretty weird," you know. PPP does a stream, goes over the same points. He says, right? He says that Dick Masterson is not a man of God, that Ethan Ralph is not a man of God, and where are we at that point? Who do you think's in PPP's chat? Cleaning it up. Cleaning it up. No, pretending that there's nothing happening. It's a nothing burger. Nothing to see here. Who do you think's actually in that chat? Well, we've got Josh again. Surprise. We've got Ethan Ralph in there. Running cover up. Why would these people be playing cover up if we... were just talking nonsense? If there was nothing to hide? Why would they be so determined... to be running damage control? in each one of our chats. So then, then ladies and gentlemen, another stream, another stream. PPP covers Josh's cover up on my video and then subsequently on Kiwi Farms. He reads aloud Josh's lies, Josh's bullshit justifications. And just as, the, just as that's taking off, Ethan Ralph goes live. Ethan Ralph goes live. And bear in mind, the entire day, right, Ethan Ralph has been fully aware of mine and PPP's videos. He sat and watched them in triplicate, him and his capos, every single frame of our videos have been plastered all over the walls of Ethan Ralph's trailer, you know. He stares at them constantly, trying to work it out, trying to work out the, the gay up that's not there. Because you can't work out the gay up in the truth, Ethan Ralph. 
So in order to try and get his little brain to work it out, he's just drinking bottles and bottles of whiskey. Just getting absolutely shit-faced because he can't deal with the reality. And then what happens is that a little, a little nice little prize, a little nice uh, reward falls into Ethan Ralph's palms. One of the low-hanging fruit, one of the, one of the livestock that Ethan Ralph has put in his little stable there. They finally bite and they finally go for the trauma. Now, if this were Mundane Matt and Mundane Matt had put out a single solitary tweet laughing at these DMs, just laughing at this drama in general, Ethan Ralph and co would have said that Mundane Matt was leading, coordinating the gay ops on Dick Masterson. These are facts. This is a fact. Instead, who bit but Coach Red Pill? You know, this emaciated husk. The ghost of Coach Red Pill. You know? Uh, so fucking throw a towel on the guy. He doesn't know what's going on. He's got zero, zero clue what's going on. He's just come off the bus. You know, he doesn't know what day it is. He's barely even alive. You know, his family have just completely ostracized him during the coronavirus. But, you know, coaches, coaches finally just stum stumbled onto this drama after everyone's been talking about it. He's very obviously watched that X-File that we opened up yesterday. And what he does is he makes a stream where, amongst many other things... You know, talking about how to scam the incels. Coach mentions the Dick Masterson drama and recites verbatim my points on the whole issue. What do you think then Ethan Ralph will do? Do you think he's actually going to say PPP and Goldenson? I've been coming at me pretty hard with some valid, valid criticisms on my scummy, scammy behaviour and my collusion with my Lord and Master Dick Masterson. Or do you think he's going to use Coach Red Pill, the lowest of low hanging fruit, as a way of proxy, as a way of absorbing all criticisms and, and what starving oxygen from the PPP Godwinson crew? What a disaster. What a disaster. So we have, right, we have a full day of Ethan Ralph lying to his fans, lying to the public, lying to the people, just saying on Twitter that Coach Red Pill is the grand puppet master, is pulling all the strings, right, is coordinating this gay op on Dick Masterson. Coach Red Pill. Coach Red Pill, who doesn't even know what fucking day of the week it is, who hasn't seen his children in years. You know, Coach Red Pill, you know, seconds from death. Coach Red Pill, a, a person whose will reading we did live on air. Coach Red Pill, right, is the grand puppet master. Somebody who can't even use Skype is the grand puppet master of this whole affair. Yeah, all right, Ethan Ralph, we know why you've done it and we know we're going to see what scummy behaviour you did when you started your stream. So Ethan Ralph spent the whole day doing that. PPP's gone live, he's shitting on Josh, he's pointing out that hypocrisy there. Ethan Ralph goes live with the kill stream. And he spent the whole day pinning, pinning the tail on Coach, saying that Coach is the ringleader, saying that Coach is the great mastermind behind all of this. Knowing full well it's bullshit. Knowing full well that he's blatantly ignoring the PPP Goblinson question. Because he knows if he were to address it, he'd have to face us and he's scared. His arms are too short to box with Goldbinson and PPP. Just too short to get into the ring with Goldbinson and PPP. Just shameless behaviour. So he goes after this elderly, decrepit, frail, likely to die of coronavirus Chilean. Just shameful. He goes live on air. And to deal with his own lies, to deal with his own shameful behaviour, he's pissed drunk. This guy is shit-faced. This guy cannot even string a sentence together. This guy can't speak properly. He's barely even alive. 
He's Nick, he's Nick Cage and leaving Las Vegas drunk. This guy is a, a wreck, a total, total alcoholic mess. He's drunk himself into this omni shambles where he can't function properly. All he can do is force this dolphin-esque high-pitched laugh that is the most forced laugh I've ever seen on Ethan Ralph. And that, that surely must win a prize. Because we've been through many, many hours of laughter where Ethan Ralph forces it out to the, such a degree where we can see his dead little eyes there. Just screaming, I don't find this funny, but I need to project the image that I do. Anyway, this is what he does. He's drunk himself into a, into a blind mess, into just a shambles. He's dragged himself out of the gutter. He started to stream. He's ignoring his mother's cries for help. And he's just talking about how Coach Red Pill has been shitting all over his Lord and Master, Dick Masterson. But he's not doing it successfully because even in this even in this timeline where Coach Redpill is the lowest hanging fruit, they've all colluded and chosen to 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 bully, to pick on, to to single out is the ringmaster. Coach Redpill, who had no idea what's going on, the one person they've decided to single out. Well, it turns out that it's not an easy win at all because Ralph's an incoherent drunk and he's self-owning constantly just constantly it's embarrassing it's embarrassing people are asking in his chat you know people are saying i'm saying right uh, coach red pill is fast asleep this is why they chose coach is their target right coach red pill's fast asleep he lives in some fucking dodgy eastern european country in exile right he, he, he can't even he, he can't jump onto this kill stream at any given hour, but they know this. They know Coach is fast asleep in bed. You know, he's just had his cup of Horlicks. He's just, you know, uh, f finished reading a bit of uh, Tennyson. You know what I mean? He's got his little uh, wee willow winky hat on and his little pajamas there. He's tucked up in bed all nice and comfortable. But they want to drag Coach out of bed. A fast asleep Chilean, they want to bring him from his slumber to drag him onto this bullshit show, knowing that he's fast asleep, knowing that it's not going to happen. So when people say this to them, people say, well, why don't you bring on PPP, who's live and stream sniping this now and calling you out on your bullshit? Let's censor all mention of PPP. Let's get Fag Menko and Gator to clean it up. Clean it up. Censor all mention of PPP and Goblinson. Censor all mention of either of them taking your, you know, coach's place on this bullshit, bullshit production. This pantomime where Coach Red Pills the, 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 the wolf, you know, in this little uh, Red Riding Hood-esque pantomime. Bullshit. Total bullshit. So they can't even clean up correctly. Dick Masterson comes on. Not even scheduled, not even scheduled. But Ralph's so pissed drunk, is so shit-faced, that his lord and master, his employer, his boss, has to come on to sort of wrangle him in, to sort of say, Gator, you're not doing a very good job anymore. You know, what's going on? Dick Masterson is speechless. He's baffled at Ethan Ralph's drunkenness. He cannot believe how much of an alcoholic this alcoholic is. So, so what a disaster then. What a complete disaster. What do you think happens next, ladies and gentlemen? In this pantomime. In this pantomime. That was the kill stream of last night. What do you think happens next? Well, Ralph decides to just bail halfway through the show. The, the show he does to make money. <laughs> This, the, his only source of income, his only job that he has to do to make money is to stream this for a few hours, read a few news articles, talk about the drama a bit, that's it. That's all Ralph has to do. But Ralph is so pissed drunk, so pissed drunk, that within the first hour, if it's even that, he bails, he goes straight to the toilet, he's vomiting, he's head down in the toilet, pissed drunk. His face is just scraping the bottom of the toilet bowl. What a disaster. What a disaster. So they cut the kill stream short. PPP sniping this. PPP's 
you know, drinking their tears. He can't believe how drunk Ethan Ralph is. He can't believe the victory that's been wrought to him, you know. They can't even clean up correctly at this point. They can't even pretend that this was a good thing. They can't pretend that this was successful. Ethan Ralph is throwing up in a toilet. They've had to shut down the stream. Dick Masterson goes onto Twitter to gaslight everyone and say, Oh, Ethan Ralph's on fire right now. Yeah, he's really on fire. Really, really, really on fire. Really entertaining. Really. Uh, 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 what reality is this? You know? The only way that Ethan Ralph's on fire is if Ethan Ralph is Dresden. That's the only way he's on fire. So, so we've got the gaslight here. We're supposed to believe that, you know, this was a successful appearance. And then Fag Menko and Gator, they start up the second stream, the, the after stream that's supposed to be on hours later. They start that up, right? And the first thing they say off the bat is, we're proud. We're proud. We're pretty proud of Ethan Ralph. What a mature, proud, proud, proud feeling we have here in our souls on Ethan Ralph. Because Ethan Ralph, he's done such a Chad Alpha move in stopping the stream, in bailing. That was a Chad Alpha mature move. This is what they say. Because he stopped the stream whilst he's so pissed he can't function. That's progress. Maybe progress would be not getting blind shit face drunk on your only job. Maybe successful, mature adult behaviour would be not turning up for work blind drunk. That's just me. So these two fucking fags, they just go on. They go on. And you can tell they're irked by PPP so much, right? So much. They're censoring constantly any mention of PPP in their chats. They're talking about Nonsense, just total nonsense. And do you know what they do to own PPP? They decide, the two of them, Gator, Shannon, and Flamingo, they decide to do each other's autism tests live on air. The way they're gonna BTFO PPP. is by certifying their own autism live on air. Holy fuck. So we're at this point now. PPP's just having a whale of a time with Surfer there in Canada, just watching this on a screen going, how are we causing this much damage? How is this even possible? What is this timeline? What is this timeline? And then, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't end there. It does not end there. Because PPP moves on to the next stage of the exposure of this cover-up. The next stage is that Dick Masterson goes on Nick Risotto's show. And on Nick Risotto's show, Dick Masterson's supposed to be there you know, uh, as a as a publicity stunt, as a gimmick, you know, I'm, I'm Dick Masterson, Hollywood East Celebrity, I'm Big Cheese, I was on Dr. Phil 15 years ago, but I was on Dr. Phil, you know, 60 million audience worldwide, okay, gosh, goodness me, but the PPP drama, the news that PPP won hasn't, hasn't ended, it's followed Dick Masterson. It's followed Dick Masterson onto Nick Risotto's stream. And Nick Risotto, he's cleaning up too! He's cleaning it up! Any mention of PPP, and we've got hundreds, nay, thousands of mentions of PPP and PPP's winning. We're getting that cleaned up. We're getting that censored. We're getting that showed in a way that Nick Risotto... You know, Nick Risotto, the uh, the anime lawyer, you know, the, the, the free speech extremist, you know, he's going to fight for your right to have a voice. 
he's censoring his comments. He's not allowing any discussion. He's calling it spam, even though the will of his entire chat is that PPP won, and you need to bow to PPP's word and PPP's demands. Anyway, Dick Masterson is looking at the chat. There's a video feed right on Dick Masterson's face, and he's looking at the chat, and this is Dick Masterson's face. You can literally hear Johnny Cash's hurt just by looking at his face. Just by, just by looking into his dead eyes. That chat was ruining, ruining, savaging Dick Masterson's soul. He denies who PPP... He, finally, he has to address the PPP question, right? And he goes, I don't know who this is. Who's this PPP, right? But he knows full well, 100% who this PPP is. Because he describes him verbatim. He describes the video that PPP did. But apparently this guy has no knowledge of PPP. Uh, Dick Masterson has zero knowledge of who PPP is. Appalling. Just appalling. So that's where we are at this point. Clean up, cover up, collusion and lies, ladies and gentlemen. Lies. That's the worst thing. And the clean up continues. The cover up continues. And it doesn't show any signs of ending. The train keeps on rolling. You know, what's, what's the next show? What's going to happen in the next instalment? You know, of the Godwinson Crazy Hour. What, what's next? We're in a new world now where PPP single-handedly has slain about five of them. Five of these untouchable, uh, you know, big, big shots, right? Has slain five of them by doing nothing, by pointing out the truth. So this is where we are at this point. This was just like a little recap of what's been going on to keep everyone up to date. I'm excited for what's next. I can't wait to see what the next X-Files gonna be, where this is gonna end, how much more Shannon's gonna have to clean up. I can't wait, and I hope you can't wait either. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, and remember, Toad McKinley is four things. Toad McKinley is a liar. Toad McKinley is a charlatan. Toad McKinley is a pleb. And Toad McKinley is a piece of shit. Take care.